everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to share with you this butter chicken recipe come let's go to the recipe so this for this butter chicken i'm going to use about 300 grams of uh, this is breast meat uh, you can use the uh, thai skinless boneless this is boneless skinless breast meat 300 gram is about uh, 12 ounce and i have about 500 grams of tomatoes this is a mixture of tomatoes these are for my garden i'm mixing my cherry tomatoes and yeah so the bigger tomatoes i cut them and i need one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste i'm going to uh, these are the ginger and the garlic i'm going to use and i'm going to use this uh, shredder to shred them and it'll be very fine so i will show you what i'm going to do so i need about one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon of mixture of garlic and ginger equal uh, quantity and this is 50 grams of cashew nut i'm using uh, butter this i'm going to use about five tablespoon of this butter and this is uh, vinegar one and a half tablespoon i'm going to use uh, one uh, medium sized onion all right it's roughly about 100 grams and uh, kasturi methi optional if you don't have is fine so this is going to be for the last stage some cream for the garnishing so please look at the uh, description for all the measurements i'm now going to cut chicken and the uh, tomato so i'm going to use this much so let me grate the garlic how much is this this is one tablespoon so this garlic is about one so one tablespoon so i'm going to so this ginger is half i need about half more right so i have one tablespoon of ginger garlic this is ginger garlic paste this is garlic so this is going to go with the chicken so of the, that ginger i only took half of that ginger i'm going to cut them to thin strips I'm going to put the ginger garlic paste, the one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon of Kashmiri chili. I'm going to rub this together and put it aside for at least 10 minutes. I'm going to add in some salt to taste. This is about maybe a quarter teaspoon to quarter teaspoon. So we're going to set this at least 10 minutes. It's been like uh, already uh, 10, 15 minutes. So now I'm going to pan fry the uh, strip chicken. I'm going to let it uh, heat up first. Oh, really. So this is how the pan fry is done. We're going to switch off. I'm going to transfer this. Since this is going to be butter chicken, I'm going to put in the. Uh, I'm going to put in about two tablespoon of uh, butter. I'm going to saute this for about one minute and the heat, uh, don't put it so high, put to the num uh, number two. I'm going to put in the uh, tomatoes, the 500 gram of tomatoes. The cashew nut, add in the cashew nut, the cashew nut will thicken the uh, sauce. To this, I'm going to add in some water. About, uh, 100 milliliter of water and to this I'm going to mix in all the other spices garam masala please look at the description for the uh, ingredients chili powder 2 tablespoon red chili powder 2 tablespoon I'm going to put in some of the kashtiri methi is about 1 tablespoon I'm going to add in some salt 1 teaspoon of salt and we're going to add in the vinegar 
and some sugar. I'm gonna put in uh, uh, one tablespoon of sugar. So sometimes uh, the recipe will ask for more sugar, but I'm only gonna add in, add in one tablespoon. You may add in another, the most you can go is uh, uh, four tablespoons. I uh, want to like, uh, once the uh, the salt, the sugar, the vinegar like incorporated now, you may want to taste and see. This is where I will like add in the sugar or the salt. And I'm gonna add in another two tablespoons of butter. So all in all, I add in four tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to let this simmer for about uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes and once uh, it, after that I will bring this back and I would uh, blend this with the handheld blender. This is going to simmer on a medium heat for 10 minutes. So it's been like uh, 10 minutes, nearly 10 minutes. I came in uh, 5 minutes ago and mashed the uh, the tomatoes, I, I press them like this. All right, and you it's best to come back uh, every like three minutes and then stir them and then cover and then let them be. I'm gonna switch off and let it. Uh, I'm gonna transfer into a this kind of a pot and I'm going to uh, run them over handheld blender. I have now just uh, rinsed some hot water on this uh, pan and I'm going to put it inside here. This is going to go to stove after blending. So when you're building your hand, you're hold, using the handheld, tilt them, don't put them straight down, tilt them a little bit and then... Once they are all grind, you can actually put them now and then you go. For the handheld, you don't um, really have them to be like cool down so much. Best to use a handheld so when it's still like this kind of warm, you can still. It's done now. Now I'm going to sit this uh, earlier that pan. To have a small texture, you can actually. Um, Sift them. Uh, sometimes I don't really oh, will do this, but I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do this. So it'll give you a very smooth uh, texture, and the residue that leave behind would be the seed of the tomato and the skin. I actually use cherry tomato. Cherry tomatoes are a little bit sweet, so that's why the sugar I use is very much lesser. When you are cooking, please taste and see whether you need to add in more sugar. I only added one tablespoon of sugar. You have to taste and see that the salt and sugar is up to your taste, okay? This is the uh, remainder because cherry tomato, there's a lot of skin on them, so this is, I have so much left. If you don't mind having them, you can just, uh, you don't have to squeeze. You can just have the uh, dish with all this inside. Yeah, all these are fiber anyway. So up to you. So I'm showing you this method. I'm going to switch on the stove. I have it on the medium heat. So I'm going to add in the uh, chicken that I pan fried earlier. So I'm going to incorporate them a little now and let them simmer for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes uh, in a very low heat. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I came and stirred twice, so it's done. Let me plate. So try, let me know in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I shall see you in my next upload.